Okay, here's how to uh, set up and use a rotary table to cut a radius. It's not too difficult. You just need a machine shop to do it with. For those of you that don't know how to use a rotary table, all you do is turn the handle and it goes around and around and around. Pretty simple. Take and uh, change out the part here. Made a little jig. The center of this rotary table's got a Morse taper in it, so I had to put the stud in the, or the uh, mandrel in the lathe and cut the Morse taper on it, and then I just tap it in with a rubber hammer. It's pretty straightforward. These little brackets, here's a bracket before the radius. A little machine work there even before you cut the radius. Camera work ain't too handy here. I just drilled the holes with a regular drill bit, so there, there might be a burr or something in there. Let's tap it down. Pretty easy. I'm going to set the camera down while I set this up. And we're back. Okay, I got the digital readout. When you want to do, set your, uh, try to square that thing away, just eyeball it. It doesn't need to be perfect. It doesn't need to be perfect. And then uh, turn your, I had a preset, so all I got to do is go back to zero with my DRO. It's not a precise deal, it doesn't matter. It's gonna get welded anyway. There's zero. All right, we're up to the edge of the part. See that? Might be a little bit shy, but it's no big deal because it's gonna get welded anyway, like I said. Put a little oil on it. And away we go. I'm using that rigid pipe threading oil for the clear stuff. It doesn't have a real high heat tolerance, but it actually doesn't work too bad. Cutter's uh, titanium carbon nitrate coated, so it can handle a little bit of heat. Not a real high RPM, I'm only running uh, about 450. Three quarters diameter cutter. This would be considered uh, a one inch radius. For any of you uh, two bit engineers out there, I want to draw it up. Back just about to uh, basically 180 degree turn on the rotary table or 90 from the cutter. There you go. See? I'll just bring it back. That was conventional milling. Now we're climb milling, but we're taking off such a minimal amount, it don't matter. You don't want to climb mill when you're doing that heavy hogging. The thing will jump all over the place and you mess up your part mess up your machine, just 
destroy some crap. There you go. Nice little radius.